guys, all sorts of stuff has happened already because I started recording this show and then in the course of it I was like, I'm just going to fidget with my tiny shoe keychain. And then I was like spinning it around like this and then it flew off against the wall and then I had to crawl under the wall to get it and clearly, see now I'm doing fine. Like if I do this fast enough, I will lift off the ground and fly around my room. I kind of wish I had, um, what do they call, oh no, apparently I can't spin my tiny shoe keychain on a mechanical pencil and think at the same time. What do they call one of those, like a tracking shot, and then we could capture it, and then that shit would go viral, you know it would. Anyway, hello, and welcome to the daily, this is like a tiny hula hoop for my pencil. Oh, it was only a matter of time, hold on. Sorry, Tiny Holland. <laughs> or Tiny Clog. Um, anyway, hello, welcome to the Daily Allison. Today is Thursday. I've had a crazy day. Earlier today, I went to get coffee at this coffee place, and then I was sitting there reading and working, and this old lady started talking to me, and she had a blob of mashed potatoes on her chest, I swear to God. Maybe it was margarine, but it was something that I was like, don't look at it, look at it, don't look at it, look at it. But enough of that. Today, my special guest... It's Trevor Stockinger. You know him. You love him. I went to prom with him. He's a lawyer. Yes. I mean, I knew he was, but I was trying to remember whether I'm supposed to conceal that. Hope not. I'm going to put this tiny M on my forehead. M. From Michelle. Although, I was recently talking to my friend Corinne, and... Um, She's like, sorry to give you the minutia. And I'm like, no, minutia is my middle name. And then I'm like, that's what I should say. The M's to... Oh, still having an issue with my hair bothering me while I'm back now. Um, I was saying that when people ask me what, my, what the M and my name stand for, I should say minutia. So I'm now Allison Minutia Rosen. <laughs> it's funny only to me. Okay, let's call Trevor. He's been expecting my call for a while now. Maybe he's irritated with me. I'm irritated with me. But that's what keeps me striving to be a better person, you guys. My sense of... Of self-loathing. Trevor speaking. Allison speaking. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am sorry that that took so long. That's okay. I'm sure you were chit-chatting away. I, well, I was chit-chatting, and then I had this, um, or I have this keychain with a tiny shoe on it, and so I was, yeah, it's, um, it's memorable, and so I, I was spinning it around on a pencil, mm -hmm. and then the, the shoe flew off and hit the wall, and then I had to go under my desk and get it, and it was, it was like dynamic footage, I'm not gonna lie, but then I was okay. like, nah, I gotta start over because I've eaten up all my Trevor time with this little shoe oh, debacle. That's, that's very, very considerate of you, because I assumed that I would sort of get bumped for Allison again. No, no, Allison no. has spoken with herself, and she's decided not to upstage you this time, if right. she can help it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, do your best. So what's been going on with you? Well, I mean, I thought of you this morning. You did? Yeah, because I took a spin class. Oh, I spun a while ago. Did you? It's pretty, I mean, people keep telling me it's really hard, which I suppose it is, but I really, really like it. You know, yeah. here's the thing with that, is that I had heard it was like so... Oh, wait, did you think of me because of the, cause I have been biking lately? Well, um, let me be clear, actually, before I answer that question. I thought of you retroactively in the sense that I've now thought of you... I've. I've integrated into my memory of this morning thinking about you, but I'm not sure whether I actually thought about you this morning. But in any case, the reason I bring it up is because of your biking. Ah, uh, okay. That is that makes sense. For a second, I thought that you had brought it up because I actually had gone to some spinning classes a year ago, and that would be, like, a weird thing for you to know. And so, obviously, I'm in the wrong, and I want to apologize for that. <laughs> well, but don't... anyway... Yeah. That, I had always heard that it was, like, super-duper hard, and then I didn't think it was that hard. Hmm. Really? I wonder who your teacher was. I heard it's hard. Bob. No, I don't really know what the person's Bob. name is. Jenny? I don't um, know. Yeah, Bob was kind of a wimp then, I guess. But I, yeah. I guess you can kind of moderate it. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, they tell you you have to go to certain intensities, but if you don't do it, there's no one that's going to be able to tell, really. 
Right. Um, which is good, I, I guess. And then I liked it because, you know, people say that the teachers yell at you and stuff, but my guy doesn't. In fact, we did, like, a meditation on the bike, which was rad. So <coughs> I go to, like, this interesting sort of like a yin spin combination thing. Uh-huh. So, anyway, that's, that's what I've been doing. Wait, tell me, I'm, like, about to choke, so I have to go off camera and take a sip of something, vodka. Okay. Um, so you keep talking. I'm just going to set the phone here, and you keep talking. I'll be back in one second. You can host the show for a minute. All right, well, are you going to be able to hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm just right over here. Okay, the other thing I wanted to share is that I went out on a nice date on Tuesday. Glug, which is good, because I haven't had a nice date with anyone in a very long time. Hmm. So that was quite pleasant. And, um, but... Uh, she kind of tricked me. She was on Match.com saying that she was from L.A., mm -hmm. which she is technically, but actually she's going to law school in D.C., so... So what, um, like she she used to live in L.A.? Yeah, she, she's from L.A. and maybe has plans to come back to L.A. in two years after law school. Uh -huh. So, you know, despite the fact that we had a nice date, I sort of wonder what the point of it all was. Right. Except now I have a, a nice new friend who actually knows other of my friends. The other thing I was going to talk about is the fact that I, I now, like, literally everybody I know knows everybody else. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of what um, all this the technology and stuff has done. Is it's actually closed our world. Yeah, in some ways, because you're able to, well, I don't know if it's closed our world, but it makes it easier to tell the connections. Yeah. Well, I remember the first time that I was ever... Um, but I, I noticed this. I was at a party in Brooklyn many years ago, actually, and I remember seeing a guy and thinking, wait, I know that guy from MySpace. Like, I don't know him. I've just seen him on MySpace. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, so, like, before, so, like, this woman knew two of my friends who live in D.C., and then she also knows someone else who I briefly dated and somehow met through another friend. And then this morning, the woman I went to spin class with was talking about how she has a another perfect woman for me who ha happens to be dating someone, and this perfect woman is my next door neighbor's, uh, uh, my next door, well, my next door neighbor is her mother, so it's like a crazy connection. Basically. Wait, your next door neighbor is the mother of the perfect girl who ha is dating someone? Exactly. Oh, well, hit that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perfect. Yeah, I kind of said, I said to my friend, why are you telling me that you should set me up with someone who's who's dating someone else. That just does not sound like the perfect person. Yeah, she must not like the guy that the girl is dating, right? I guess, yeah. I mean, I do have to say, like, the whole description of who she wanted to set me up with, it makes sense, except for the fact that she's dating someone. Which right. Which is kind of like a major problem. Right? Well, I think that might be less of an impediment than someone living in D.C., because people well, break up all the time. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I guess I can just hope for the breakup of various individuals I want to date. Yes, that's a nice thing to do. <laughs> yeah, super nice. We're, so, we're, oh, go ahead. Uh, no, no, you go. No, you. No, you. All right. Well, what's the theme of this show? You normally sort of have a theme going on. What's the theme? I think it's I'm fidgeting. <laughs> <laughs> is that right, really? The theme is Allison fidgets and talks to Trevor. Okay, all right. Well, that's pretty simple. Maybe I, I need a better theme, like, um... Why are you fidgety? Have you drunk too much caffeine? Are you nervous? Are you... Do you need Ritalin? Yeah, I mean, yes, yes, and yes. I don't know. I think it's just August does weird things to me. Seriously? It's hot. I hate August. I have seasonal affective disorder. Yeah, when it's, it's like this perfect. sunny, I get unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> I have reverse seasonal affective disorder. Are right. sad. <laughs> what, what is it called? Are sad. Are <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> I are sad, Trevor. <laughs> oh my God! Well, I would uh, volunteer that you could come out to LA and stay with me, but that's not going to help your are sad very much. No, I need to go like somewhere dingy and dark. Yeah, what's dingy and dark? Let's see. You could go to. Um, Where is it perpetually nighttime and sort of moderate temperature, and there's all sorts of fun, funny people around? Oh <laughs> well, that's Boston. Huh, I've never been to Boston. Do you think I don't know if it's really like that. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think the people in Boston are particularly funny, first of all, but I don't know, maybe they are. It's okay. I have such a fertile imagination. I can just imagine a a wonderful enchanted land and I can go there yeah, in my yeah. brain. Some I also realize that um I don't put enough of a premium on funny. Or, oh, yeah. And I really need to. You know what I mean? Funny is important. 
It is. It's arguably more important than looks, although... Well, it can, you know, like, put it this way, it can prop up looks. So true. And, so true. And we, normally funny or witty is correlated with smart, which is super important. Yes, whereas you can have smart without funny, though, which is a bummer. Which, um, is, just, which is worse than dumb. Right. I think. I totally agree with you. Now we're into the meat of important stuff, and of course we're out of time. <laughs> uh, we finally got there. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go fidget off camera now, but thank right. you. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. You guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Love you.